Is everyone ready? Cool. All right. So welcome everyone to the JSABFS for the team weekly of February 12th. Um, as usual, like, if this is the first time, I, I see like all familiar faces, but um, just give a heads up for the viewers that see this recording. There is a recording of the first of these sync ups listed on the GitHub show on the JSABFS. And that one has the instructions of how these files work and how we structure work on JSABFS. So if this is the first time you are checking one of these files, definitely check that one first because it will give you um, the knowledge of how we, we structure the information here. Um, as usual, just like let's do a round of updates. And uh, before we do the round of updates, we have to select or elect or have someone volunteer to be the note taker. Would someone like to be this week? Dimitri and Volker were already sacrificed in the weeks previously. Would someone <laughs> we could take the role this week? Rob, is that, is that like a, <laughs> is that a, a hand for volunteering? Sorry, just itching my eyebrow. I just did the notes for the last meeting, so I'm gonna oh, okay, okay. back Jared, off for this one. Would you like to, to help us this time? Oh, probably Jerry cannot hear us as well. Um, all right, so this is going to be hard. Uh, Volker or Dimitri, would you like to take it again? Okay, Dimitri, thank you so much. Sure. Cool, okay. So, Volker, do you want to start? Yes, okay. I have just too many windows open. It's always hard to unmute myself, so, all right. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so last week um, I spent time again on the IPLD um, CLI stuff. Um, and today we merged many of the things. So hopefully tomorrow there will be DEC support in IPFS, IPLD CLI. Um, and for the next week, I work on the graph sync stuff, which means I will work on the IPLD selectors. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I, that's all I have. Are you blocked in anything? Um, no, I was blocked in the morning, but I'm not blocked anymore. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Good to hear. Um, so on the... DAG uh, API, uh, the CLI API for the DAG. I know you you updated a little bit, like to like so, so some of the formats are now printed in JSON. Um, you probably want to make it very uniform, like perhaps the format itself should have a print function so that we can always print uh, in the way that the the format implementer intended it to be printed on the CLI. Um, do you, do, you, do you follow what I'm saying, Volker, here? Where, uh, yes. Yeah. But I think it's, it's all, all the next steps, and I will probably concentrate on the graph sync stuff first and then come back to the IPLD stuff. So basically, getting the APD CLI stuff working and then go from there. Got it. Cool. Um, did you look at all into IPLD explorers? Like the, we had an example of another JSON explorer. Did you look into that yet? No, I haven't yet. Okay, so, okay. All from my questions. Uh, yeah, cool work. Thank you so much. Uh, it's great to have so many pull requests to review all the time. Uh, cool. Next, uh, I can go next. Uh, just no one wants to vote here, so I'll just go next. Um, I actually have notes because it was a list of things. So uh, what I got done last week was I renamed Leap Peer to Peer Swarm to Leap Peer to Peer Switch. So it uh, finally has the name that everyone proposed and also updated the, the API. I uh, found a bunch of bugs in the process and fixed uh, those things um, while I was doing the rename. So Switch for everyone that is hearing the band for the first time is the thing in Leap Peer to Peer that understands stream muxing and protocol muxing and that knows how to pick the right transport to go out to the right peer. It also understands connection reuse and, and relay. Um, so then I trickled that change to Jessly peer to peer and also updated Jessly peer to peer and um, took in a new uh, a feature request. Well, now we have a method just like for dialing protocols before 
the dial method could take an argument to sell the protocol or not. Apparently that was confusing and, and yes, like it makes it hard for VA to optimize when you have methods with a lot of polymorphism on it. So now we have like separate methods, dial, which just establishes the connection and dial protocol that establishes the connection if need, need and, and excellence the protocol. I kind of like got blocked while doing these updates because what I was really focusing on is the next version of the group here. It's like the refactor that will remove the rentable points and so on. But I got blocked by NPM because NPM started having problems and, and like my publishes stopped appearing and they only fixed it Friday. Uh, because uh, I got blocked there, I started like looking into other things. And so I went into JSRDFS API land, which has been having some problems, uh, especially on running browser tests, web packages clicking. So yeah, to fix that, like, I found an intermediate solution. Now we have browser tests running. Um, because of that, like I got nerd, nerd swipe and, and I went to IPFS DCTL, so the IPFS factory, and refactored the whole module. Uh, me and Dimitri worked on that uh, and we found like some bugs, some things that were missing, but that's, that's all done. And now uh, on this process, because it's always a chain or it's always a tree of things, um, I also had to fix Azure. Because the way that uh, oh you, you cannot be, hear me well is that it is my voice cutting I can hear you well okay well if the person from the other side of the ocean can hear me well I'll talk that to the voice um, cool so yeah uh, I have to fix it here uh, on the way it loads features so that's a breaking change um, but yeah like. Due to some other work that was done two weeks ago, uh, there was a, a, a regression introduced on the tests, um, on how the tests were loaded, and we had to fix Azure to fix that regression. And so, so yeah, essentially, again, my focus continues to be, and like, this is what I'm going to continue working this week, is like the refactor of the peer. Uh, there is an issue that lists all the things. I already did a couple. Um, and I do not have anything that I'm blocked on right now other than, yeah, just being like blocked by NPM or nerd slapped on other things or <laughs> trying to fix other things. Yeah, Dimitri, go ahead. So are you on blocked on NPM? Uh, yeah, NPM fixed the, their problems. So yeah, now no, no, that's good. And, and yeah, I also reviewed a bunch of PRs. I believe I answered everyone's requests. Um, let me know if I missed something. Um, well, Booker is already raising his hand. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that's from me. Uh, I know I just like went through a bunch of things. I can update the end of notes, so like, make sure it's clear there. Um, good for me. Uh, wants to go next? Do you want to go next? Very good. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I have a few PRs open and issues in um, MDNS, if you could take a look at. MDNS? Yes. About the polling, right? Uh, yeah, and there's a couple fixes there, too. Oh, sweet. Okay, okay, okay. I'll yeah. look into that today, or more later in tomorrow. Okay, I just want to say, because I'm on a really dodgy internet connection. Big storm oh, well. here. Uh, we can hear you well, so that works. <laughs> uh, cool, thank you. If you want to list those issues, again, it always helps me to make sure that I look at the things that we want me to look at. But I will for it. Anyways. Cool, so then, Marcus? I, yeah, so in the last call, I mentioned we're going to run a test bed um, for JS in MetaMask. Um, so this week, we'll deploy the testing container um, I'll open an issue where we can start gathering ideas of what kind of telemetry we want to gather. And uh, for our initial release, we're using uh, the WebSocket star to limit the number of transport connections. Um, but we really want to move to WebRTC star. Um, and we're just blocked by having the connection manager moved into libp2p uh, to prevent us from opening too many connections and then crashing the system. Um, and that's me. And so you are blocked on? We're blocked on the connection manager getting merged into the PDP. Awesome. awesome. And would you say also the selectors conversation? I could do um, more discussion there. Just like yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, our 
our use, the selectors we want to use are very, very simple. It's a full path or path with globbing. And so if need be, we can write our own protocol that does that without waiting for the full like richness of graph selectors. Okay. Okay, so you, yeah, like so this week will be about getting connection and making sure human questions. Yeah. Yeah, we were still at the P2P level, not at the IP level. Yeah, 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 like a like week by week. Um thinking we have the selector, we have to hack our own one. Yeah. 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 Cool. So um what about the others? So Rob, Jared, and Machi, do you guys want to share an update? And uh, yes, I would like to share an update. Um, so I fixed uh, WebSocket star and I am currently working on rewriting node trust to fix the situation with the certificates to prevent them from getting revoked by any user. Um, are you blocked on something, Matthew? Mm -hmm. I'm blocked on the, uh, the dynamic injection thing and the mm. PDP for WebSocket star rewrite. Got it. Got it. So that, that refactor might because like it's so big and like it will pack so many things, it might me take take me like a week or two to finish, depending on like if other things explode meanwhile, of course. Uh, it might just take a week. Do you have any other thing that you like want to focus on right now that we can also unblock you? while you wait for that refactor to happen? Um, actually, no. OK. OK, well, no problem. Cool. What about Jared and, oh, do you have any question, Dimitri? Um, I just, <clears throat> what's, the, uh, what's the stuff that uh, Mash is working on uh, for this uh, week? Just, I, I missed that one. Uh, it seems like he doesn't have any specific thing to work on this week. Uh, uh, perhaps like the actually, I said it in the beginning that uh, I was going to work on rewriting no trust and oh, yeah. Sweet. I'm going to finish that this week. Uh, I, I understood that like you had finished rewriting no trust last week. Um, I actually started it this week because I forgot it last week. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No worries. Cool. 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 But yeah, Rob, Jared, do you have anything you like to update? Just share work, even if you have a question. We still uh, have I guess I can give a, a quick update. I'm not really working on anything, just IPFS in particular, um, but continuing to sort of like uh, do research on the doc stuff. And hopefully uh, my big goal this week is to get a little bit of a write-up of summary of, of what I've seen and heard from people so far. Uh, written up and uh, had to figure out exactly where to share that um, so that people can see it and give feedback on it. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a really great conversation with David uh, at the end of last week about sort of use cases and goals of people using JS IPFS as opposed to other IPFS parts, um, which is a little different, which was super interesting. And if anybody here also has things they think I should know or feedback about the docs, please let me know, uh, get in touch on IRC or Slack. Um, I should be Mr. Ogrog, MR0GROG everywhere. Um, so that's it on that, I think. Sweet, thank you, awesome. Uh, cool, yeah, like if you want to create an issue about your nodes on JSIPFS specific repos, you can use the main JSIPFS repo or even the IPFS slash nodes. Like th that is also a good place um, to track things. Cool, cool. So um, I'm using a different device today, so I do not have the ability to open the waffle board and just like like do the exercise of like just like filtering by priority. So like if someone wants to do that for us, that would be great. Dimitri, are you available to do that? So but you are doing. Yeah, and I haven't given my update, but. Oh, that's right, because you have been doing the notes. So, so sorry, go for it. <laughs> um, so um, this week, or I'm sorry, last week, uh, I kind of helped uh, David with uh, some of the refactor for uh, IPFSD CTL, and I started looking into, or working on the uh, tutorial for Circuit, uh, and I've been brainstorming some few things and trying to 
uh, put something worthy together. Um, also, uh, still struggling with the uh, CI for the interrupt tests. Um, uh, random failures, things like that. I think there's, I've got most of those issues documented and I am, as soon as I found something else, I, I, I tried to log in. Uh, but basically, yep, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. For last week and this week, I'm planning on uh, finishing the, the tutorial and hopefully being able to resolve all those um, CI issues or at least have some of them, maybe, maybe even get it merged and, but understand every, every issues, issue that we, we're running into and hopefully have a, a clean path to fix it. And, uh, but. Got it. Got it. So answering also Rob's question. Um, so the tutorial is for circuit relay. So it's like when you dial to some other peer through some intermediary peer. And, and yeah, maybe Dimitri, it's good for you to check in with Rob and like get his perspective. And yeah, still help you write the tutorial. Uh, it should be something very similar to what we have in JSAPFS slash examples, like in the repo. Uh, of course, like you can be creative and like, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but like it should walk the user through the process and explain the, to the user what the heck is a relay connection anyway. Um, so that's what I mean by following that template. Uh, what what is exactly the problems with CI on interop? Um, there's a there's a few issues with uh, Go IPFS uh, itself that are being fixed with the latest release. It's all in master now. Uh, it was the huge uh, PR that was outstanding for for, uh, for a few weeks, but it hasn't been released yet. So it's like circuit relay issues on Go IPFS implementation. It is some issues with just dialing that it times out, and I believe it's due to the reuse port fun functionality, um, the IPFS reuse port, yeah, um, which has been addressed in this uh, in the latest master now, but again not released, and that gets in the way, and it it sort of pops up randomly, and I had a conversation with um, uh, Sibelian, and we identified what that that was one of the issues. That is possibly the most pervasive one. Uh, then I also run into the uh, Mac ID errors, or the sorry, not the Mac ID, just the Mac errors with uh, the uh, with Cessio. Again, it's just so the major issue pops up with Jenkins because we have all the, the different operating systems and versions running Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Mm -hmm. The reuse port affects Mac, Mac OS mostly. <clears throat> that there's some timeout issues, but like every run, there's a selection of issues that could affect one or two or three of those environments, or it might affect all of them, but I can't get like a clean run, a clean pass on uh, so, engine So reuse port is just for TCP. Can you, can you try making the test pass on the old side with WebSockets or UTP? Um, I can I can try uh, using WebSockets. The problem is that since JS uh, will dial WebSockets uh, by default, it will be able to dial. Uh, it might be able to dial the the Go notes uh, directly. So wow. that's why I kind of avoided using that. Oh, true. <laughs> but like, uh, actually, that's a good test because if you have um, like two nodes that listen on WebSockets, but you want to do a relay connection from mm -hmm. one to the other. Like mm -hmm. it's a totally legitimate use case. You might want your data to pass through that node because it's some geographic region or something. And right. so you might have a secret relay multi-other that explains that path. And so Swarm or today Switch uh, should just use that peer-to-peer -peer secret other and not try to break into pieces and like try it. Yeah, right now it's possible. I don't think there's gonna be any issues when I just start a structure in the, the tests, I kind of, landed on not having um, Go enabling TCP because of that issue. But right now, I'm using explicit uh, circuit addresses to, to make the connection, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I should be just able to, um, yeah. to use the circuit explicitly. So I can, I can try that and, yeah. and see if I can. That's a good idea, thank you. Yeah, that, that should get your like, TCP reduced for check. Uh, done. There's also an environment variable that I, I set. Uh, I'm sorry, I set the uh, IPFS reuse ports uh, to false, and it seems to help sometimes, but it, it also fails 
sometimes, so I'm not sure if it's uh, entirely fixed, uh, it's disabling that. <clears throat> okay, so here's another um, idea. Like we know that the Go IPFS nodes tend to sometimes shut down the connections from WebSockets. Uh, and that's why we keep connecting them when we are a browser node. It mm -hmm. might be that like, the connection is getting closed while you are doing the relay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what you are seeing. Um, mm -hmm. So try to do relay, not from a browser to go IPFS, but from Node.js to go to go, and like see if all of that works well with WebSockets, because then that way you remove the browser from the equation, like, and you remove um, TCP from the equation. Yeah, no, it uh, those work. I can tell you that those work. Uh, I got a full battery of tests, and you know, it's it's only it's only one specific case that would fail out of the whole run. Okay, so, so it's not just I, I would like to have like more um, like a state update on circuit relay because right now it mm -hmm. seems like it's not done because like there is no tutorial and like there is this drop mm -hmm. test around merge. It seems there are already a bunch of tests that like are warranty to pass. So it's like some circuit relay configurations. Mm -hmm. So. Let's have those and like skip the other ones, like do dot skip, and, and okay. then like put on the rest on like separate PRs because they might mm -hmm. be different, and and it's okay. better to have something that like people can use and try than just like keep waiting. Okay, I'll um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to I'll skip the the tests that are 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 being the most problematic and see if I can get it green. Uh, so yeah, yeah, but is that what you what you mean? Keep the table around. That table is super useful to understand how what oh, is. Yeah, Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll annotate it with a note saying that this this one is disabled for now because of X Y Z issue. All right. So sorry everyone for because like this was more like almost like a uh, a technical um, like a most fair discussion uh, on circuit relay. This call was designed just to be a stand up uh, and also to check in on progress on how everyone is doing and if they're doing as well. Uh, the, the last exercise that we typically do is going through the local board and understanding what are the priorities that are not being set up. Um, we have five minutes. Last week, oh, Jared has a hand up in the system. Uh, it, it can be as you're loading the waffle board, a couple of questions, uh, pro general project organization. Uh, well, number one is, are there any current web assembly projects uh, being tied into either NPM or the browser? We don't have any of the IPFS pieces in WebAssembly yet. Uh, there is Rustly peer to peer, and Rustly peer to peer, there are other, it has parts that compile to WebAssembly, but we haven't did the uh, wiring. Like, so we, it's there, you can try it out, you can check it out, uh, but like so we haven't. Those, those are organized under the Rust project then, not under JS IPFS or anything. So that, that, that is not on the WAPL board. Because like if you go to github github.com uh, slash sleep peer to peer slash rust dash sleep peer to peer you'll find it. But but okay. that specific team is not using a waffle board. Okay. And then on um, the JS I, IPFS that can load under NPM environment, are any of those projects intended to be optional replacements for uh, equivalent Go IPFS libraries? Um, so your question may, like, I'm not sure if I understand completely your question. Let me try to answer. So there is today a JS IPFS implementation, which is designed to be a full implementation of the IPFS protocol. Um, it supports everything that the peer to peer does. It supports everything that like IPFS does. Yes, there are some parts that are in flux still. So we are still working on them, but, but like you should be able to switch back and forth of a Go IPFS node and a JS IPFS node, and like your application should not have to distinguish them, like at all. Uh, we we have been designing the interfaces so that they map cleanly. Uh, like you you have JS IPFS and JS IPFS API, which is the client library, and they they have the same interface. Does it make sense my answer? Like, do, do I did I reply your question? The answer you yeah, right. that that makes sense. I was just wondering if. Um, that there was some try kind of trade off between the language projects covering different areas, or if there's 
kind of intention for complete overlap there? There, there is intention for complete overlap because in the end we want IPFS to be a protocol as ubiquitous, as pervasive as HTTP. And, and so like whatever you get on an HTTP client on a, like and not just process, you have got them on the browser, like same functionality. Um, the, of course, like because Go, it's Go, like you get faster speeds because just like the way Go works and JS, because it's JS, you can, you can work on a browser without installing a plugin. And, and yeah, so there, there are differences, but from the application, it should look the same. And then, and then like you, you will notice the difference in things like performance or like how crazy you can go and so on. That, that's pretty much it. Um, cool, so we are two minutes or one minute from the end. Again, um, did people go through, through I, I just want to make this question. Uh, did, did people go through the waffle boards last week and like check issues that are with P0 right now? Was there, like, did, did anyone do that exercise? I guess not. Okay, no. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> all right. So can I ask everyone again this week to go to the waffle boards and like check the P0s and P1s? Because remember, like the, the labels are there for a reason. Like it's really the most important things. And uh, and so if you find something that's on your path or that you are interested in checking out, just just go at it because it's right now it's super super urgent. Of course, like if you are super busy and you're already super focused on doing a bunch of stuff, just just keep doing awesome um, but, but I also invite the whole community, if you go to the waffle board and you check the L pointed uh, issues and like you check the difficulty, like easy, medium, and mo uh, moderate, and hard, um, you will find a bunch of issues that you can help out. Like typically those issues are great for newcomers so that they get familiar with the project. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This is the cover today. Oh, Rob has a hand up. Yeah, just have one miscellaneous question if we're done with everything else, yeah. um, which is like, there's probably not really time here, but uh, if somebody doesn't mind, um, like either on IRC or on a separate Zoom chat, uh, would somebody mind giving me the rundown on um, no trust or at least like where to read up more about it because that's come up in the last two calls um, and I was having trouble like finding it or information about it. Uh, yeah, like so, Matt, yes, are you still around? Uh, yes, I'm still around. Cool. So, did you get that request? Uh, yes, currently writing the link in the chat. Yeah, cool. So, there is also a demo. So, Matt, did a demo. I'm not sure, like, I think it was in December. He did a demo, right, Matt? Yeah, I think it was December, November, around that time. Yeah, so. Oh, no, actually, January. January. Do you do you know which day so that we find the, the call recording so that we can show it to Rob so that he knows how no trust um, works? I think it was the second or first call in January. Okay. C can you can you take the lead on like finding a call to send to Rob? Um, I think I will take forever anyway. Sorry, again? I think it will take me forever anyway. Okay, uh, I can try to help you. Uh, I'll just go through the notes and see which call had the demo. Uh, but, but yeah, Rob, so there is a call with a demo that like Matt just goes and like shows the project. Uh, there is a repo, there's a website actually. Uh, and, and yeah, like from there, then yeah, feel welcome to ask any questions, either to me or to Matt. I'm more than happy to answer. Perfect. I will. I will look at the repo and the site, um, and I'll also I'll dig through the notes too. Is it the note? Was it the demo in this meeting or the all hands? All hands. All hands. Okay. So if you go through the meeting notes on IPFS slash PM, like mm -hmm. for the last five calls, I'm sure you will find a demo, and then you just have to find the respective call on YouTube the play, the all hands playlist. Great. Thank you. Okay. All right, all right, cool. Uh, again, thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, I put the issue link from the thread about the tour into the time. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, so, yeah, Kumav is just, just like posted the issue on IPFS Dev on IRC for us to like follow up on the request from the previous call, which is give ideas of like what things to 
evaluate on this test. Tests. And what kind of experiments and what kind of telemetry together? Yeah. So let, let's like just do a brain dump there this week, just to get the conversation started, uh, and then follow up on next week as we we get everything set up. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yeah. See you next week. And. And, and yeah, just like find out, like just make sure everyone feels confident on what they are going to work on this week. Everyone, I see heads on me. All right, that's what this calls for. Cool. <laughs> uh, take care. Bye bye. Take care, guys. Goodbye. Bye.